Five, four, three, two. All I got to say is feathers were flying. I got me one of those rascals. Respect Outdoors, presented by Steiner Binoculars. Nothing escapes these eyes. Also brought to you by Burris Optics. See the light. Set lock. Get close. Go undetected. Also brought to you by Big Lake Lodge. Come fish in our backyard. Warning you are about to watch an outdoor television show. A show that is specifically designed and produced for people just like us. Everyday working people who love the outdoors. How y'all like that? How y'all like that? This segment is brought to you by Steiner Binoculars. Nothing escapes these eyes. Hey there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Respect Outdoors. I'm your host, Robert Arrington, and this week I'm joined by my great friend and baseball slugger, Ryan Klesko. We've also got the legendary singer-songwriter, Bobby Pinson, and we're in South America. Our mission's to spend seven days on the road on the hunt for dove, duck, per D, decoying pigeon in the Golden Dorado. This is a run and gun, cast and blast. Let the adventure begin right now. Got me that one. Good boy, good boy. Aki, no, bring here. Come here, buddy. Good dog, good dog. Drake, Rosie, Bill. If I didn't know, I'd swear we were in the grasslands of central Florida, but we're not. We're in Uruguay. The sky is raining ducks, and I'm locked and loaded. I hit both of them. Silver teal, buddy. And you know that's right. There's more, there's more, there's more. Well, as the smoke cleared and the dust settled, we'd gather up our ducks and head back to the Estancia. Time and time again, I was always impressed with the level of service down in Uruguay. Whether they were handing us warm towels to wipe our hands and face with, whether they were cleaning up our birds or making dinner, these people treated us like family and made us feel right at home. But of all the people down there, Ferrero, the gaucho, 
the cowboy that took care of all the animals and cleaned all our ducks. He was my favorite. This guy always had a smile on his face and a knife in his hand. Ferrero, Los Gaucho. He's the one I will never forget. I trade you? Me have it? Yeah, hey, you put that one on. You put that one on. Did I have this? Yeah, dude. Oh, that's his. <laughs> you, you'll trade me for his hat. That's a businessman right there. <laughs> I'm Tim Bradley, pro shooter for Benelli. Make them count. And today I want to show you a great new optic for your shotgun. It's the Speed Bead by Burris. It's fast, accurate, and it'll save you money. Speed Bead places a red dot low in your natural line of sight. I shoot lots of ammo in my line of work, but most guys don't shoot enough to be very consistent. It gives you a perfect aiming point, even if your form is a little off. Shoot a little, shoot a lot, shoot better with a Speed Bead. Welcome back to Respect Outdoors. This segment is brought to you by Big Lake Lodge. Come fish in our backyard. Hey there everybody and welcome back to Respect Outdoors. We just got done with a world-class duck hunt. Well, we're traveling from the low ground all the way across the country to the high ground. We're out in the middle of the country now. Hey, <laughs> fasten your seatbelt, go get yourself a beverage, do whatever you gotta do. I'm with my boy Ryan Klesko, Bobby Pinson. We're fishing for the Golden Dorado. I just got my new hog and we are out. We're here in Uruguay. We're down in the real southern, southern part of South America. We're right below Brazil. And this is the Uruguay River. This is the hot spot. So we're basically just doing a little trolling technique. We're pulling some, some little crank baits, little jerk baits that are running just under the surface. It's about five feet deep. And oh, there he is, got him on, got him on right here. We're here, man. Oh, nice one, about a five pounder. Oh, look at that beautiful fish. This is the Uruguay River. On the other side is Argentina. This river simply separates Argentina from Uruguay. Oh, awesome. <laughs> it's beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, beautiful. Come on. Oh, look at that. Look at them chompers. Look at that fish. I find it so unique that they've got that perfect little black spot on their tail, and then it's got that little tip to it. Man, look at the, look at the colors on that fish. Man. Ooh. Good. Good deal, my man. <laughs> my, first, my first golden Dorado. They make these lures down here. These are their handmade lures. They run real shallow, and it looks to me like they do the trick pretty good. These fishermen, these local guides, they literally make their own lure. They can make it exactly the way they want it. They make it out of an almond wood, and then they hand shape it, and then hand paint it. it feels like it's gonna be a good day. And we're just having a good time. Bring you a shotgun, fishing pole, come to Uruguay. Go on a cast and blast. <laughs> there he is right there. Hold on, I got one right here. Yeah. Oh, dude, these fish are strong, man. Right in front of the rocks, too. This is all about local knowledge because if you drift up on these rocks, you are in trouble. Beautiful fish, lots of head shake. I mean, they are powerful. This thing was just tearing drag off this reel. Look at this, nice one, biggest one of the day so far. Still not huge, but it's a nice one. Oh, look at that fish. Come here, buddy. Come here, Mark. No, 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 I got, I got, I got, easy. Look at the black stripe down there. Look at all the color in that fish. That is awesome. Beautiful fish. Golden color. Look at that tail.
We've got fishing poles and shotguns. We're locked and loaded. Now we're heading to the fields to hunt perdiz. This beautiful bird looks a lot like our quail back home in the States, but he's about one and a half times the size. We're about to go bust this a perdiz. Yeah. Beautiful bird, a lot like our quail back home. Jokers are on nitromethane though. The bird's close, man. Right now I'm gonna stay back just a step. Get him, Bobby. Here we are. For these, baby. That's what we're after. I, was, I don't know if that was you or me, but it was one of us. That, that bird tried to, you know, run a fastball on the inside there. Let's go turn on it. I like it a fastball. See you guys. <laughs> you see how fast they boom? They come from nowhere. Nowhere. Luna. Can I give you guys the chance to let him fly all the way over there before I shot him at 80 yards, you know? What can I do? Uh -huh. <laughs> Bobby, lead him, lead him. Yeah. Holy mackerel, there are just birds everywhere. Luna, come here. Give me the bird. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Pretty good, Ryan. Nice shot, buddy. Tell you what, a high impact trip with a lot of shooting is where we're at right now. Yeah. I'm, it ain't no joke. We came down here anticipating to pull the trigger, and that's what we're doing. Purdy hunting was probably one of my favorite birds to hunt in all of Uruguay. And not only are they fun to hunt, they're one of the best birds I've ever put in my mouth. They are fantastic. That's Dakota Eat. That's what they're biting on right there, baby. This place is cool. <laughs> Welcome back to Respect Outdoors. This segment is brought to you by Scentlock. Get close, go undetected. It's day three. We are decoy pigeon shooting, which you know I've never done before. These are wild pigeons. They're big and they're tough as nails. Here comes a pigeon. Here, stop, stop, stop. These wild pigeons roost on the bank of the Uruguay River, and as the sun comes up, they head east towards the grain fields. We've set up blinds right along that flyway. In a word to the wise, you better have plenty of shells, and you better be ready to shoot. Hit them hard, and don't stop shooting until they hit the ground. These birds are tough. The point here is to be lucky and wait for them to decoy, and when they decoy, Boss the With this hunter here, no chance to leave. Well, all I got to say is feathers were flying. I think I'm gonna bring some Chinese stars next time. <laughs> say hello to my little friend! You know the best way to bird watch, don't you? Shoot that sucker, walk around and see everything you need to see. What, what is that, National Bird or Pigeon? I can't realize they're almost the same size. Listen, we, we can't, we have, a bald eagle is our national bird. We don't have things we can mix up. I don't know what I was doing wrong there. I know what was happening to my shoulder. It was getting donkey kicked. You know, these guns are, they don't kick at all. But after you've shot 852,000 rounds, it's like Jiminy Christmas. Mascot torches, por favor. Don't shoot me. This is wing shooting at its very, very, very best. I put him in a coffin. You know, we're doing the, the, the land favor here. There's so many doves. They literally, anywhere they can roost, there's millions and millions and millions of them. I got that one. I only had one bullet. Right in front of you, dude. Got 
Got him left handed. Got him. The cool thing about this is that there is an endless supply of dove flying at you. You got to stop an hour early just to pick your birds up. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. A new age of modern scope technology has arrived. Burris Optics presents The Eliminator. The Eliminator incorporates laser range finding technology with automatic bullet drop compensation calibrated to your rifle and bullet combination. Burris Optics, leading the way in modern scope technology. Burris's new Eliminator Rifle Scope, changing rifle scopes forever. Just range them and eliminate them. Welcome back to Respect Outdoors. This segment is brought to you by Burris Optics. See the light. After spending a week on the road with Ryan Klesko, I can tell you something. I will not be challenging him to any shotgun sports. He can shoot a shotgun like it's part of his body, and he made me look bad on nearly every single hunt. Well, when I got home, I evened the odds. I went out and got the new Burris Speed Bead. My good friend, Brian Carey over at Burris was like, Rob, if you're having trouble, put the speed bead on your gun. It's going to make you better instantly. Now, whenever I throw my gun up, if I can see the red dot, that's where the shot's going. Hey, it helped me tremendously. It'll help you too. Put it on. It'll make you better the moment you start. Yeah. <laughs> Bandido! Me viene buscando! <laughs> You want them?
do the time to money comparison, it pays to get on a plane and go to where there's great, great numbers. I'm telling you right now, you can get more accomplished in one week in Uruguay than you could in a whole season, maybe two or three seasons back home. Not to mention you're going to get to see a whole new country, a whole new culture, a whole new lifestyle. Have a great time and get another stamp in that old passport. I got everything out, even on the BB, food on the lab, I don't want on the BB, feed on the warm out, up on the way to go. If you want to meet it, live and on the rise, eat it more, we be go to bed at night, it's living on the ride, every old next go. And you can't save me every night. It's always such a wonderful opportunity getting to travel somewhere new and learning about new types of wildlife. Silver teal, speckled teal, rosy bills, uh, tree ducks. The ducks in Uruguay are the most beautiful I've ever seen in my entire life. Breathtaking to say the least. Here comes another one. Here comes. You can't hunt these birds without your mouth watering. Yeah! Got all three of them. Got another rosy bill. It's a hen. Big old beautiful bird. I can't wait to cook some of them up. I got me one of those rascals. Kill him. We're not out here killing things indiscriminately. We're out here making memories enjoying friendship. Hunting was meant from its very basis as a way of gathering food. Although I enjoy to hunt very much, whenever I'm hunting, I'm thinking, Ooh, this is gonna be good. This is no different, whether it be birds or deer, wild hogs, whatever. Or whenever I'm hunting, it's for food. Ryan, good deal. Hey man, thanks a lot for coming, Ryan. It's really been awesome having you down. You too, Bobby. Thanks a lot for coming down. Uruguay, land of the bird. Everybody, I want to thank you so very much for watching this episode of Respect Outdoors. It's been an honor and it's been a pleasure getting to come down to Uruguay and catch this beautiful golden dorado and hunt for these new ducks. Take care, God bless, we'll see you next week at the same time in the same place.